physical computing with sensors. We are now going to explore the world of sensors. These components are great inputs for projects detecting the world around them. Think about the motion sensors used in rooms to turn the lights on, or light sensors on porch lights to turn on when the sun goes down. These are all sensors that use code to instruct them to take an action based on their surrounding environment. These sensors can take any project you have been thinking about to the next level. Materials, Raspberry Pi, Model 3B+, micro USB power supply, HDMI cord, HDMI monitor, 8 gig micro SD card, PIR sensor, light sensor, capacitor, breadboard, jumper wires. Key concepts, GPIO, time, sleep, motion sensor, light sensor. Project, motion detector. This is what a PIR motion sensor looks like. You notice that there are three pins. We need to use extra power to run the sensor. It requires a five volt connection along with a connection to ground and the GPIO pin. We can use three female female jumper wires to make our connection without the breadboard. Follow the diagram below to connect your motion sensor to the Pi. From left to right on the motion sensor, you want to connect the 5 volt, then the GPIO, and then the ground. Make sure the connections are firm and get ready to run some code. Enter the following code into a new Thawney file. In this code, we just want the sensor to wait for motion and then print motion detected when it senses motion. The sensor has a decent range, so keep that in mind when setting up a sensor for future projects. You can also use PIR.wait underscore for underscore no underscore motion open and close parenthesis if you want the sensor to do the opposite and detect no motion. Light sensor. You can also use light or darkness to set off parts of your program with a light sensor. Here's a light sensor and a 1UF capacitor. We are going to connect these components like we did the LED. Look at the diagram below. Place the light sensor with one leg in the first column and the other leg in the third column. Take the capacitor and place the long leg in front of the light sensor leg in column 3 and place the short leg in column 5. Take a male-female jumper wire and connect the female to the 3 volt and the male end to the column with the first light sensor leg. Take a male-female jumper wire and connect the female end to ground pin and the male end to the fifth column that has the short leg of the capacitor. Lastly, take a female male jumper wire and connect the female end to GPIO4 and the male end to the third column that has the legs of the sensor and capacitor. These connections allow us to power the sensor and control it from the Pi. The code. We now need to enter the code for the light sensor. Copy the following code into a new Thony file. This code works like the motion sensor. It waits for light and prints let there be light when it detects light. You can change it to ldr.wait underscore for underscore dark open and close parenthesis if you want to detect dark instead of light. Challenge. Can you add an LED so that it turns on when the room is dark? How would you use a loop to create this project? 